In marking the World Day of Remembrance for Road Traffic Victims, with the national celebrations taking place in Naivasha along the Nakuru Nairobi Highway, even as thousands of Kenyans continue to lose their lives on our roads, our reporter Willie Dennis Njiru with his story. Along the busy Naivasha Nakuru Highway, the National Transport and Safety Authority organized the national celebrations that are marked on Sunday of every third week of November to mark the World Day of Remembrance for road traffic victims. One life loss is too many. So we would hope that we reduce it even further down so that we can avoid having the damage, uh, uh, the irreparable damage to our lives in Kenya. Ruth Ndongo, a victim who was involved in an accident at this Delamere stretch on 20th September 2023, narrates her ordeal that she blamed reckless driving that almost took her life, where her driver in the PSV lost his life. Getting to Delamere Sports, uh, Prado was leaving Delamere Petrol Station and was to cross and head to Nakuru. But from Nairobi there was a truck coming which was very fast, but I think the miscalculations of the Prado driver did not consider. In October 2023, there were 330 fatalities resulting from road traffic crashes compared to 361 in October 2022. There was an 8.59% decrease in fatalities in serious and slight injuries increased by 23.7% and 29.7% respectively compared to a similar period in 2022. We have noted that there's an increase of drunk and driving occurring within our country that is also a, a direct correlation to the fat, uh, fatalities that we have on our roads. In regards to fatigue, we employ on owners of vehicles and also on the drivers themselves to prepare and plan for their journeys well in advance to ensure they're well rested to be able to undertake the trip. We have automated cars where you see people buying a car before they get a license. That tells you that when they get into that car, it's just a matter of stepping on the pedal and the car moves. The highest number of cases reported in the month of January between 2022 and 2023 with 3,936 cases against a decline of 3,609 cases and a decline of 327 fatalities. The entire society has been affected by one driver just being reckless on the road and creating the accident. So I request and urge all Kenyans to be courteous and be cautious as they operate on the road. Reporting for TV 47 from Naivasha in Akuru County, I'm Willie Dennis Njeru.